Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Kyle. This is going to be part two, continuation of the uh, secret jutsus, the secret techniques to being a better person in general. <laughs> Don't be a piece of shit, part two. Uh, I want to start with... in the same vein of kind of respecting everyone is realizing your general skill level in simplifying your game plan, simplifying what you're going for and making it easier for you to be able to communicate that to your team. And it's, I'm going to go into that more in depth in another video, but it's basically don't overwhelm yourself. Don't try to take in a ton and be able to execute all of it at the same time. Start with step one. Respect yourself. Respect your teammates. Respect your time. Respect where you're at. First things first. Step one. And it's really breaking things down. If you want to defend a really well I would say start with where are they coming from like how can they enter on A okay it's this doorway it's that hallway and it's over here as well and then there's a side lane and then there's the flank so you have your directions right there now what kind of gun do you have and what kind of gun do they have should you be a lot closer to those entry points or should you be a lot further away? Is it going to serve you to change the distance kind of thing? Is it going to serve you to let them enter and then re-enter somehow? What kind of fight do you want to be in in the first place? And then try to put yourself in that situation as much as possible. You can't start worrying about B or C you do need to, to learn the whole map, but if you know you want to be on this side, or you want to be on that side, or I've never played on this map, I just need to start with defending right here. I gotta fucking hold my ground. I gotta hold my spot. Start simple. What lane are you in? <laughs> like, who can you even possibly play? You don't need to learn about all of the top lane champions when you're a support. You gotta, you gotta win your lane first. First things first. You gotta know what the other supports do, and you gotta know what the other carries do. You need to know what you're doing. First things first. How am I gonna win my spot? How am I gonna take my first and second step forward? And that's up to you to identify how you wanna play the game. And really, Leaning into how you want to play the game is the most important thing to figure out. That's how you're going to have the most fun possible. And being on a good team that allows you to play your style and they understand that you've taken the time to figure out what you're going for and they allow for that room, that's really important. And it's not easy to find when you're doing stuff like solo queue. But there are a lot of people out there that are going to give you a lot more leeway than you think when you prove to them that you have really put time in figuring out how you want to go about your play style. If people see that you have something going on, a lot of the time they will support you. But if you're just being a shithead and, you know, you don't pay my fucking sub, this and that, that's genuinely just, first things first, shitty. Like, you're, you're at that point, you're doing it to your teammates. You're doing more to help the other team than your own team. And that's not okay. That's never okay. You can't be doing that. But at the same time you have to develop and practice your style as well. So being honest with yourself and your team about 
how good you are with this stuff and just a lot of the time just disarming people by admitting it and just being up front with, hey, I'm, I'm figuring this out. I'm workshopping this as much as I can. A lot of people will understand when you make mistakes. Well, if anything, you can say, well, I fucking, I warned you, sorry. But I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. And if you are, and you can honestly say that to people, a lot of the time that's the best you can do. And most people will understand that for what it is. And the people that are not willing to, nah, I'm gonna play with them anyways. And you're not gonna just not run into people like that, obviously. It's gonna come at you at any point. But you have to be about your way that's when you're going to have the most fun when you figure out your build and your style and you're living your class fantasy the game means so much more to you and it's all subjective you know and there are a lot of people that like mixing it up and tr always trying new things and there are a lot of people that are very flexible players that are looking to enable people that have their style and like one tricking is never just a bad thing it's never going to be the most effective thing in most situations but if you're not having fun doing your thing and playing the game your way why are you doing it <laughs> like why are you, it's why are you even bothering really i mean there's a lot of reasons to just keep going and keep going when you're not having the most fun but if you're never really figuring out your favorite way to do this or that it's never going to be as fun as it can be I mean and that's if you don't know why that's important I don't know if I am willing to make a video about that why you should have fun <laughs> 101 uh, but that's kind of what all of this actually is that's in a way what these videos are is just how to truly have fun playing these games it's these games mean so much more when you really appreciate it <laughs> and that sounds simple to say but <sighs> it is not always there I've been playing video games all of my life and I've seen a lot of people not having fun while playing them and claiming that they're we do we do this we keep going like it sounds more like you're having more fun when it's just actually you're trying to convince yourself that you're, it's having, how do I say this? Having more or less fun <laughs> is better than having a l even less, less fun. But they're never actually having real fun. That sounds fucking exhausting. I know it is. I mean, I've been there just to keep playing just to ignore everything else but i've been lucky enough to mostly be genuinely having a lot of fun i'm not willing to remain in those situations personally that's just i draw the line at if i'm if i for a moment feel like i'm not learning and growing if i feel like i'm wasting my time in any way the moment i feel that way anymore Boom. Done. Nope. 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 No fucking way am I wasting any time not having fun. Believe me. I'm always having fun. <laughs> Even when I seem angry, it's not anger. At the end of the day, it's, it is an intense, intense need to reduce the mistakes and get better 
as much as I can. And when I see the Pats making mistakes, when I see the Celtics making mistakes, when I see the Red Sox making mistakes, at face value, it may look like anger, but it is an intense desire to figure out how they cannot be doing this anymore or just me just needing to not see them make the same mistakes over and over. And it's just an intense passion. It's an intense love for these teams and these sports where I grew up with them learning to never give up because I saw how possible it was to always come back. There is always a way to come back. There's always a reason to never give up. And of course I used to get angry all the time watching sports and just wondering, like, I just just not knowing how they could get better and what they need to do and what they need to change and what real progress and real change looks like and winning change. Just not knowing and having the depth of experience watching all these my teams that I love so much and just being endlessly frustrated with their with the perceived mediocrity relative to other teams doing really well that are just knocking our fucking lights out left and right. I just didn't know what could go on to make things better, to reduce the mistakes. But now when I get intense and I'm, you know, pounding my fist and yelling left and right, this and that about, well, why aren't they fucking passing the ball? Or why aren't they throwing the ball downfield? Why are they not taking it into the lane and kicking it out? Why are they not moving the ball side to side? Why are they swinging at those pitches? Why are they only trying to hit home runs instead of getting on first base? And then the next guy pushes you to second or third. Like, we got we to gotta get on first. We got to pass the ball. We got to stop dribbling so much. We got to run the ball to set up the pass. We got to pass the ball to set up the run. Like all of these things. And it's always something different. It's always something different to identify. And respecting that other teams are also really fucking good. It's an intense desire. It's intensity anymore. I used to be so fucking angry all the time. Because I didn't have the experience and depth of mistake reduction and not turning the ball over and not making simple errors is what good teams are made of deep deep down inside mistake reduction and if you don't know your own style at the same time you're not going to know what that actually ever looks like you're not going to know how to capitalize on their mistakes your way and what not to do when you're playing your style what you're prone to doing like overextending when you're doing really well or not backing your team up with your utility the best way that you can so many different things of that nature it's It's going to go so far when you really figure out your style. And that's going to change over time as well. And always wanting to try new things is going to be supremely important at the same time. Not just only sticking to one class. If you try everything that you can and really open your mind up to as many different play styles as possible... You're also going to learn more about your opponents and what they are capable of and like the other character skill sets. You have to at least put a little bit of time in on each different character to learn, genuinely learn what they are actually capable of. And it just takes time to build up that kind of experience. It's, it's a time factor to 
spend enough time to see what other people can do on all these different characters and with all these different weapons and all these different utilities that are available in each different kind of game. It's going to go so far when you really broaden your horizon and allow yourself time to figure out your style instead of just trying to copy what the pros are doing or what your favorite player does all the time it's good to gain inspiration that's a great thing and to see how other people play those kinds of characters but if you're just copying what everybody else does you're never really genuinely going to know why they do it unless you feel it for yourself in real time under your control and then when you've tried all of those things and you see someone that is really good at that you're going to have a lot more appreciation for it and say fuck man to be able to swing around like that be able to shoot that thing one way and it blasts you off the wall the other way and then you got a bunch of momentum and you swing around the corner and then you 360 nose go someone like it's worth it to try for yourself it's you can't to get that genuine depth of feeling you got it's you can't fake it you got to do it yourself you got to build up that experience like everything else in the same way of always respecting people and yourself don't overestimate anyone else's ability either that's another that's the other end of the spectrum in a healthy way don't give someone too much credit because they're ready to make a mistake and you need to be ready to capitalize on it respect people and what they are capable of but then you have to go out there and make them prove it at the same time they got to do it every game and you need to be able to capitalize on every bad game that someone else has just like you need to be able to shore up your own teammates mistakes for each bad game that they're gonna have each game is going to include a few people having a really good game and a few people having a not so great game and it's gonna go both directions and those are the margins that you have to work along to make a real difference you have to be prepared to cover for your team as much as you can and be in the mindset of working with everyone else but at the same time you can't go into a game ever just assuming that you've lost you can't look at the other team and look at their names and look at their skins and you see fucking jesus the destroyer with the fucking prestige edition whatever the fuck skin and they're fucking blowing golden dust out of their fucking ass every time they take a step and they have giant angel fucking wings and a gun that looks like it can <laughs> put the fucking death star to shame who cares i don't fucking give a fuck i don't care i don't give a shit you spent fucking 30 dollars to look that way i don't care that doesn't make you a good player and that doesn't mean that you can just automatically beat me that game i'm gonna make you fucking work for it believe that as best i can every single game you're gonna look real fucking good with that skin on when your character is laying face down on the fucking ground and their fucking body is fizzling away into that magical golden dust coming out of your ass a skin's gonna look real fucking good when you're walking out of the fucking spawning area. Believe me. It's gonna look real fucking nice when I watch your body drop to the fucking ground. When I beat your ass with my fucking plain ass regular skin. It's gonna be mm, delicious. I love it. I love looking at the back of your fucking character. Those giant angel wings. Good for you. I don't care. You gotta fucking prove it. You gotta fucking prove it. And then, when they do prove it, and that giant fucking golden angel is taking giant golden shits on your face, you'd be, fuck, man, good, good for that guy. <laughs> Holy shit. 
<laughs> she knows what she's doing, man. I <laughs> fucking... Hey. <laughs> They're doing it. Holy fuck. Like, yeah. And that's worth it to watch. That's worth it to be a part of. It's beautiful. That's also... Mwah, beautiful. Good for you, man. You got the Prestige Edition giant golden destroyer. Good for you, Jesus the Destroyer. That's great. You're doing it, man. Bravo. I love it, man. I fucking love it. Go get them. <laughs> you fucking... Good for you. Hey, I tried my best. Clearly you're trying your best. And you took me for it. And you looked fucking great doing it. <laughs> Good fucking job. That's what it's about. But don't just give them the fucking W. Because they got a team full of fucking skinned out, crazy looking people. They got fucking... A Gundam fucking supporting <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> I don't fucking care, man. They gotta play me too. They gotta play me too. I don't fucking care. Prove it. That's what it is. You gotta prove it every fucking time. And guess what? I see you two games in a row. You're not gonna do the same thing that you did to me again. It's not gonna happen. I've seen it before. I know what you're about now. Now you gotta fucking prove it again. Let's go. Back to back. And you take me back to back? All right. Best three out of five? <laughs> Let's fucking go, man. I'm not gonna give up. I don't fucking care what skin you have. I don't care what your rank is. You have to fucking prove it. Every single time. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm gonna get back up again. And I'm gonna be ready again. Let's fucking go. Until I'm full. I don't care. Let's fucking do this. Mm-mm. Nope. You, not for a fucking second. I am not assuming anything. I am not going to give you a fucking inch until you take it. Let's fucking go. That's what it is. They gotta play you as well. I love hearing that from people. When they talk, I love that. When they, when someone <laughs> asks them about their super tough schedule coming up, and they say, nah, man, they gotta play us too. I fucking love that mindset. That is how winners think. Every fucking time. You have to play me too. That's what this is. And I'm gonna make you fucking work for it. We're gonna be we're all sweating after this. Believe me. If I'm sweating, so are you. And if you aren't, holy shit. Look at this. <laughs> and I'm going to do everything that I can to learn from them. And how they're doing that. And what is possible within these beautiful games these we play together. It's incredible what people are capable of. And I know for a fact... Most people are about something worth seeing. You have to respect more people, as many people as you can. And if you don't respect them, then don't take what they have to say personally. Don't assume anything about them. Don't assume that they know better. Just don't take it personally. When they beat you, you're not going to be able to learn from it correctly. You got to just respect the situation for what it is and the plays that are made they're in the past you gotta learn from them and move on and take it day by day and at the end of each day you gotta know that it's all about being safe staying dangerous and taking it easy no giving up never ever 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 you cannot give up and you can't even before giving up you can't give in to people just cause they look like the angel of fucking death <laughs> I don't fucking care you better believe you're gonna take me fucking kicking and screaming thrashing and furiously fighting back every fucking second of the day and it's not it's a marathon it's not a sprint you got to preserve your energy as much as you can. But you're going to realize that you can give your all when you do preserve your energy and protect your energy from 
things like what I've talked about. You got to be about winning and you have to understand that losses are just temporary setbacks. You got to be about it for the long term. You got to play your way. And you got to never give up. Good luck with all of your dreams. Good luck with all of your goals. Be good to yourself. Thank you for listening. And I hope all of this helps as much as possible. Good luck.